Hi there, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're gonna look at how to make a top 10 list using something called the reorderable list view. Try saying that one fast. To reorder, of course, list items inside of our Flutter applications. Essentially, what this means is that if we take a look at the article here, we can perhaps zoom this in to see the video. And if we press play, we can see that we are reordering these items inside of the list view like that. So that's essentially what we'll be building in this video. You can, of course, check the article out if you'd like to read a text version of this video. So here we are inside of our terminal. We'll create a brand new Flutter project using Flutter Create. We'll call this FL underscore reorderable, but you can call it whatever you want. Once this has completed, we can CD into FL reorderable, and then, of course, open this up inside of Visual Studio Code. So I've already gone ahead and opened this up inside of Chrome. So we will be using a Flutter web context right here, but it doesn't really matter what platform you use because there isn't any third party dependencies. Everything should hopefully run as intended. So what we'll do is head over to our library and we'll create a pages folder. Inside of pages, we will make something called the top 10 list dot dot. This will be a stateful widget and we'll call this the top 10 list. We will be using material for this, so we will need to import the material library. We'll be returning a scaffold. That scaffold will have an app bar. The title of the app bar will be text of top 10, and the body will simply be, at this point, a reorderable list view. So you'll notice that a reorderable list view does require children. So we'll go ahead and build a function to create the children based off an array of strings. So I'm gonna paste in from the article. You can simply do whatever you want, but I'm gonna have a list of top 10 games in random order at this point. We can then create a function that returns us a list of list tiles, and we'll call that get list items. That will return the top 10 games We'll use it as a map, and the reason we want this as a map entry is because we want to determine the ranking based on the index of the item inside of the list. So it'll make more sense in a moment. So we'll use dot as map, then we'll map over those items, and at that point we want to build a tenable list tile that'll have an item name and the index. We can return a list tile from that. The list tile will have a title of the text with the item name, a leading of the text with the current index plus one because this is zero based. So we want our index to go from one to 10. And we'll add a little hashtag before that. Now here we can return a map entry. We'll rename this from key to actually be index because that's what it is. And then the value can remain the same or we can simply call this item. For the map entry, we need to have the index, and then we want the build tenable list tile. We can pass in the item and the index. As we want to return a list of list tiles, not simply a map, we want to say values.toList. So the only reason we're using this as map is because we want this index for the leading. If you didn't really care about that and you just simply wanted to return the list tile, we could just map over the top 10 games and then return, of course, a build tenable list tile like so. We would need to remove the index because we wouldn't have access to that at that point. But that's essentially how we would just show the top 10 games as the titles. But we do want the leading and we do want the index there. So we will control Z that for now. We can now set the children of this reorderable list view to be the get list items. And we also need this on reorder. So we can just hit command dot and add the required argument of reorder. That'll give us the old index and new index. But we won't do anything with it yet. We just simply want to display these items on screen. So we'll head back to main.dart. We'll remove the comments. We'll also remove the class of my homepage and it will replace that with our top 10 list. And finally, we'll add a debug show check to mode banner equal to false. When we do that and hit save, we get the list tile cannot be dynamic and that's fine. We just need to add 
the list tile on our build tenable list tile. Next up, we get the error that every tile and every item should of course have a key. And this is how Flutter uses and determines when an item has been moved inside of the list view. So we do need to add a key. Now at this point, we are gonna use the value key where the value key is equal to the item name. This could cause some problems if of course you have duplicate item names. So of course I'd rather use something like an ID in this scenario, but because this is a very simple example, we are gonna use the value key with the item name. So now we're able to establish that we can drag or hold down on one of these items and move it throughout the list. Once I let go, for example, if I wanted to put Half-Life 3 at the third slot, it would of course jump back to being number nine. And that's because we haven't implemented this on reorder function. So let's now add a void for on reorder. That takes in an int of the old index and an int of the new index. We firstly check to see if the new index is greater than the old index. If that's the case, then we set the new index to be minus one. The reason that we do that is because if the old index is before the new index, we need to remove the item at the old index. And then of course that will reduce the list's length by one. And by accounting for that, that ensures that our list remains appropriately updated where the user drops the item. Then what we have to do is we can add a set state to rebuild the UI based on the following. We can get the game name by saying top 10 games with the old index. So that gets the current unmoved item. Then we can say top 10 games dot remove at, that needs an index. So we can say old index. We've now removed that from the list at that index. Next up, we need to insert it by saying top 10 games dot insert. We'll insert that at the new index and the element that we want to insert is of course the old item. The old item of course being the game name. We can then replace this on reorder to be our on reorder function. So now if we go ahead and for example, change Grand Theft Auto Vice City to instead be the top game, you can see that it's replaced the World of Warcraft, which was currently number one, to now be number two. Half-Life 3, if we do the same and put that as number one, Dota 2 now becomes the bottom of the list at number 10, and Half-Life 3 becomes number one. We can of course let's move down, once again if we want to put this at number five, we can of course move this around as much as we want so we can move things up or down the list. And of course our list will update appropriately. So this completes our top 10 list. We've now got a list that we're able to reorder and display the current ranking. Some possible improvements to this could be for example, giving the user an option to create multiple lists. Maybe you want one for games, maybe you want one for beer, movies and so on. We could also allow users to add, remove and edit items from the list. We could also persist this to local storage or shared preferences, Firebase, anything you want like that. I do have lots of articles on developer.school if you'd like to see how to do that in detail. So that about wraps our video up making this top 10 list. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video and of course in the comments.